Hello everybody and welcome to Henry's Watches. In today's video I have the Seiko Arni reissue or in different words the Seiko SNJ025 for review on the channel. So I already did a full unboxing of the watch with the outside box, um, all the paperwork, the tags and stuff. If you are interested in that it's in the description for you guys. But this watch is something special for me so there we go I decided to, to let the box join the video because it's actually pretty nice nicely packaged for a Seiko normally they kinda have ugly packaging if I may be honest um, so there it is I experienced this watch for a couple of weeks before deciding to buy a completely new one um, so I, I'll, I already know how it all works and stuff but I still want to do two separate videos because otherwise it would be a very long sit and I don't like that myself so uh, let's start off with the base uh, specs of the watch so the case itself is 47 and a half mil some even say it's 48 but I measure it at 47 and a half so that's actually pretty darn big the lug to lug is 50 and a half millimeters so that's actually pretty regular I guess pretty normal so as you see the shroud is actually the one thing that makes the watch such a big thing because this the bezel itself is not bigger than a bezel from a SKX that's actually a 40 mil bezel I believe so um, 22 mil lugs or lug width so you have you probably having some trouble swapping this one out 20 is most common uh, but if you're into Seikos like me you pro uh, probably have some something laying around because it's really nice on a NATO as well uh, we have a overall thickness of 14 mil the bezel is actually uh, rising up a bit but 14 mil thick uh, and that's actually the basic dimension of, uh, dimensions of this watch on this watch is a hard lex crystal so it's not sapphire it's also not like this Vostok it's not plastic but it's hard lex so a lot of people tend to hate hard lex because it is not sapphire I have zero pro uh, problems with uh, sapphire or hard lex I'm sorry whatsoever this one my Seiko S I've actually forgot to reference my Seiko Sea Urchin uh, as you may see there is a lot of damage on the bezel but none of it is on the crystal so it's actually really nice the hard legs unless you're damaging it with a hammer or so it's it's not really all that bad in my opinion um, in this watch is the Seiko H851 any digi movement so this is a solar powered movement as you may notice that's why the dial is not perfectly black uh, it still has to absorb some light uh, and as you notice it has a display this display is actually changeable by um, unlocking the pushers this one is already unlocked I'm sorry and you have a day and date, a local time, so this is the time in New York. We have a stopwatch operated by this one. Hold it to pause it. and Or press it to pause it and hold it to reset it. So we have a alarm time. You activate it by pushing both pushers. You have a small... Um, thing I, I really don't know how to describe it um, you can enable sound by pressing both at the same time 
and we have the normal time over here make sure the alarm is off as you notice we also have a backlight but it's kind of weird because you can't operate it if it's screwed unfortunately but that aside um, the bezel itself I actually forgot to talk about that one it's pretty noisy mine is actually pretty nice with the chapter ring as well not all Seikos have that most are pretty not in not aligned I guess but I have some luck with it it's 120 click and it's a aluminium insert as well so that's actually rather unfortunate I would have liked some ceramics in there but this toughens up the look quite a bit so it's forgiven so as I said a really functional watch overall um, not everyone likes this style of watch it thing I think it belongs to the uh, to this uh, to tuna family if I can call it that way uh, because of the big shroud around it but it actually wears smaller than 47 mil as mentioned so I'll pop this one on my wrist first remove this one so this rubber is actually really nice and soft uh, I hear a lot of people saying this is the best rubber strap on a Seiko ever uh, because it's so soft and comfortable and I completely agree um, also a really nice detail is Seiko in the buckle so there we go and I want to just quickly put, push that up so I noticed the timer is running out on my phone for recording so I'll be back in a couple of seconds hold on so I'm sorry for that my timer was running out unfortunately um, but I'm back with the wrist shot of my Seiko Arnie as you see it's actually pretty wearable for a 7 or 47 mil watch and that's because of the short lug to lug uh, or at least lug, uh, short it's short um, if you compare it with the watch itself so it's pretty wearable uh, I have a 6.75 inch wrist for your reference uh, but I won't recommend this watch to anyone with wrists that are smaller than 6.5 inches I do think that is I'm already pushing the limits with how big I can go um, but I do not recommend that so um, if I would say what are the pros and what are the cons of this watch um, so I will start off with the pros so for me um, it's probably going to be everything except the size I do like uh, the way it feels the, the rubber strap is absolutely fantastic it's really comfortable goes on a NATO as well it's pretty uh, pretty nice uh, the way it's it just feels uh, it doesn't feel like a giant watch I do like the features on the watch so um, I prefer a day and a date on watch because I regularly just forget about it uh, and people ask me what well, oh damn what uh, what's, what's the day today and I don't know uh, so almost all my watches do have a day or a date uh, function so that's pretty nice stopwatch also nice um, you're probably gonna get your phone out and use that but it doesn't matter 
second time zone this watch basically has everything you need in a watch so it's basically a G GMT watch a dive watch a chronograph all in one so um, what do I not like about this watch I already said it it's a big it's a, it's a big watch it's basically pushing my limits and I don't think anyone with smaller wrists can pull this off um, or at least smaller than six and a half inches the original watch Arnold Schwarzenegger was wearing during the 80s actually had a case of 45 millimeters and I do think that would be a bit better, better for sake also for their sales because people tend to not like 47 mil watches overall it scares people even though sometimes it's actually pretty all right for a average sized wrist so that's basically it the full review of the watch uh, I do recommend it to anyone who is into dive watches who is into uh, multifunctional watches who is into Arnold Schwarzenegger watches so um, as always make sure you like the video if you liked the video uh, make sure you leave a comment um, if you have quench, uh, questions some stuff I forgot about it um, just ask for it and if you like these kinds of videos uh, you might as well turn on, if I turn on the notification bell uh, so you get notified when I upload a new video so that's it um, everyone have a nice day Bye-bye.